Welcome to the Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. I'm Jay Nicholas. We're going to do another in our series of saltwater fly tying and fly fishing videos. I'm calling this a coho clouser, a Steve Ferrar coho clouser. I'm using Steve Ferrar's blend. Um, will it catch kings? It sure will. Will it catch black rockfish? It sure will. But this is when I, you know, when I know I'm in some silvers and I know they're in a receptive mood, um, I'm just as likely to reach for this, this fly as any other. A little bit of hydro, lock that thread in there. These are painted chartreuse eyes. You can use white eyes. You use chrome eyes. So this is the Steve Ferrar blend. This is UV white. This is a really nice stuff to work with. It has splash already built in. Now I, I would like this, the finished fly, to be just a smidge over three inches in length. So you'll see me Every now and then my hands disappear off camera and I've got a little, actually one of my grand, a ruler that my grandfather had. I don't have much of my father's or my grandfather's, but I do have a ruler of his. So I am, although there is flash incorporated, when I'm fishing in salt water, I like just a little extra flash, and what better way to achieve it than with this lateral flash. Remember our, our various flashaboos that are kind of uh, almost mirror-like in their brightness. Well, this is lateral flash is also is also mirror-like and it is crimped. So it, it got these really cool little marks on it. So now I'm going to put in, um, and instead of using Steve Ferrar Blend for my pink, I'm actually going to go to a, um, excuse me, a Steve it, it, this is a mirror image, and maybe this isn't Steve's, I don't know, I don't care. No royalties in it for me, but it's, it's a little bit brighter pink. The mirror image is a little bit brighter pink color than the SF blend. And it, it, it's, it's uh, they call it mirror image, it's got some interesting little hues of bluish. It's not pure pink, but I like it better because it's a little bit brighter pink. And then I'm looking for just a hint of the SF blend herring back. And I've got some strands that are too long, and I could trim them, I suppose. I want to lay that in. It'd be just a little bit longer than the pink. This is actually you as. Uh, Steve Ferrars UV uh, minnow back or not minnow back herring back UV minnow UV herring back. I've been using minnow back, and I get tongue tied. And I've chosen a pink, a shell pink, flat waxed mono 210D. It's hefty, but it lays flat and lets me build up a decent-sized head on that clouser. 
You could tie this five with fine mono, with six odd, with any color thread you want, but see it's color coded for me if I'm gonna fish for silvers I like to use. With a clouser, I use a shell pink thread. If I'm gonna tie a five for kings, a clouser for kings, I'd use chartreuse thread. Isn't that silly? Of course it is. It's hydro to seal the head. Okay, here you have a great clouser tied with synthetics. It's about three inches long. A few long strands there. It's got flash. It's got pink. It's got a blue back. And these flies really, they ca cast and strip. Let them fall, let them fall, let them fall. Strip, strip. Let them fall, let them fall. Strip, 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 strip. Silvers love to hammer that. Have fun.